Hey, hey, everybody, Beardo Dude back with another episode of Stone Shard Permadeath with the Bolt Thrower update. And today we're going to head back to the Catacombs and Crypt and we're going to stop off to take on some bison. So stay tuned. All right, we're heading to the Catacombs. I don't know if we can top the last uh, episode for drops. Unless, of course, the occult cloak drops this time today. But we'll see what happens. No real equipment changes. Uh, I probably should have gotten a few more arrows, but I think, or uh, bolts, but I think we'll be fine. Hunted a few Saiga before we started. Uh, yeah, I think that it's kind of crazy it's so close. I was like, almost thinking it uh, went the wrong way or something. Grab a couple penny buns just cuz. We're pretty much stocked up on everything, so we'll just get right into it. Let's see what we find, see who we fight. Got the matriarch last time, so the abomination or cult leader would be cool. Rabbit pelt, uh, not a good start. Let's see who we run into. Surgeon's toolkit, cool, but not very space efficient. If we don't get anything good, we'll come back to it. Oh, he's boned. How much damage did that do to him? Jeez, both his legs are pretty much broken. I think I'm gonna be able to dodge anything. That's for sure. Be nuts if he could. All right, come on, Mr. God. Ain't got nothing on me after that. All right, who's on this side? Oh, double door. That was the same guy that broke his leg. So you could have almost kept that trap and just like lured guys. That would have been kind of cool. And our uh, flurry of blows is getting pretty strong. Oh, this is... I wish he had... Oh, no, we still got our... Sweet. We still got our defensive stance. We don't have too much to use on bro bro here. Should probably get that cooldown. Um, geez, everybody in they mama in this room. They all want to fight. Give them a nice chop. Jeez, how did I get? Man, I am getting really strong then. I didn't really drop anything fun. Anybody else? Anybody at all? I like that dude in with the stockades on his uh I probably need to give him a nickname, but he's like my favorite one really. Horseshoe. Seriously? We probably should put some points in perception. I can't remember if it's I think it's perception. Probably uh even if we got it to fifteen that would kinda help. I might sprinkle that in with the strength. Because I think high percept, maybe you would just have a little bit of perception. Because so we probably only have 10. Yeah, we only have 10. Uh, accuracy, crit chance. So it would help with accuracy and crit, really? Oh, both agility and perception help with crit chance. Vision and bonus range. So yeah, I think maybe we'll pop one and one as we continue to level. But we'll see how it goes. It would help when I'm trying to kill all those Saiga and try to get their meat. I'm not going to really rely too heavily on the crossbow. Uh oh. You guys having some kind of bonfire party over here? Fourth of July? Looks like it got a little bit too crazy. I always wonder how like the developers felt about building out this dungeon. <laughs> oh man, our buddy, Mr. Blood Golem. Oh, he got ducked up. 
See, now that's a good spot to put, uh... Ooh, gotta move. And not everybody's just getting stabbed. Pretty funny. Ooh, nice. I like uh, mutilating Lunge into chopping their heads off. We do need to get execution. Maybe we should put some priority in getting to that point. I think we're what? We're probably two points off. Oh, and we still need to find Axis 3. Yeah, I almost want to get Frosty. Just because then we can get to our skills a lot faster. So that might be the next one we get. What's up, baby? Oh, we'll just wait. She's gonna scream at us. She's mad. Oh, she didn't actually affect us the uh, way she's supposed to. Let's give her a chop. End it with the flurry of blows. Oh, we found a pair. That's what I'm looking for when I go through a horrendous torture dungeon. I'm looking for some fresh fruit. All right, it's a pretty good spread uh, for this bottom section. I don't know if it's going to get us a level, but maybe if there's a third level to the dungeon. Oh, that's not a good sign. Another open door. Could I shoot him from here? Am I loaded? Oh, my range isn't that far. Still a little short. Oh, he's still far. Oh, got him. Oh, got him again. Free shot. Free kill. We'll take it. I wonder if anybody else is going to sneaky. Oh, our girlfriend's here. Oh, he actually, like, legit stunned us, that, or uh, dazed us that time. Get a little bit closer, honey. I should stop eating people. Man, chopped her head off even without any uh, special moves. No chests or anything yet, though. No onions either. I've I really need to find an onion in the onion in the dungeon. Onion in the dungeon. It's hard to say. You guys try to say that five times fast. Onion in the dungeon. Oh, we finally found a chest. I guess. Usually, if I complain. Then they'll show up, so. Yeah, you're dead, man. I'm really liking this combo. Even with it broken, get decent, decent money for it. We'll take it for now. Let me eat all my extras here. My pear and my garlic. Empty covered. Let's, let's get something cool, man. Now this makes you just want to run the crypts and only the crypts. Oh! Hey, bro. What's the deal with all the bosses not staying in their room? Ugh. Pisses me off, man. Alright. I'll wait for him to get there. Let's give him try to do a kick. Nah, no, it didn't work. Alright, where's he at? He's 45%. Let's get him. Ooh, double crit on the flurry there. What's he giving himself? Oh, he's got thirst for battle. Blood craze. Oof. Hopefully we can get him on this last hit. There we go. He didn't drop nothing! What a punk! And he hurt us. Made me feel pain. That was even worth using. How much pain are we in? Yeah, it's gonna drop off. That's what this gives. Minus 30, it's gonna be overkill on the pain. Plus, we could sell that. Ugh, nothing great. Broken pilgrim stuff something to identify which is probably not going to be worth it wow no treaties or anything 
Yeah, come on. At least summon your blood golem. Don't throw anything at me. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. What if I keep it? <laughs> That's what you get, Targ. Oh. Yep, blow up your friend. Alright, I'm over here. I'm not gonna walk into your stupid curse. You can. Because you're an idiot. Oh, it doesn't hurt you anyway. Sliced you up. Disenchantment scroll. Really? That's all you're gonna give me? Oh, there's more over here. Probably should uh, rest because we're like cursed and stuff. I think that is. Oh, Mark of the Feast. Get it? Mark of the Feast, like Mark of the Beast. Should have actually checked what it does. We're in pain. Alright, we are justifying getting drunk. We would get some money, but oh well. Let's get our stuff going again. Alright, we're pretty. Ooh, a ruby. Wow. Okay. That kind of makes up for everything else. I hadn't found a ruby before. Or no, we did. We found that. I think that was in a hero sarcophagus. We still haven't found a diamond. I found one rolling like a save edit. Or uh, save edit. When I edited a save file for like the podcast footage. I found like multiple diamonds, so I'm not sure how the RNG spells out on that. Like what level you I think maybe it has something to do with what level you are. Not a hundred percent. Yeah, come on man. Hey, Mr. Bat and uh this guy can't make up his mind if he's suspicious or if he actually is concerned. I can't really tell. He gave me sacrificial blood. I'm not missing any uh any health here, bro. Ooh, nice crit. Okay. I'll take your ring. Not too bad. You didn't even injure us at all. I just don't, I always feel like it's just a jib when the RNG doesn't give you anything dropping off the boss. Like, at least give me an enchant scroll. Now, I guess in some ways I can understand with the abomination because it's like, he don't really look like he has pockets or anything. But I have had other bosses where they don't drop anything. And it's like, come on, man, give me something. And we got a bunch of chests in this bottom level at least. All right, we'll uh, roll on back to town, see if we get the crypt quest. Maybe we'll get another crazy drop from that one. I'm wondering if the occult cloak only drops off of the crypt later. If you guys know, if you've seen it drop off of the matriarch or the abomination, let me know in the uh, comments. Because I don't think I have. This is like the quickest, most boring travel. Maybe, you know, for you guys, because I love you so much, each and every subscriber, we're going to go and see. If we get ambushed, we get ambushed, but we are going to have our crossbow ready. What do we have? We do have a lot of broadhead. I only have one leaf shape. That's strange. All right, let me guess. Ambush. No? Alright, I'm really rolling the dice on this one just for you guys. I'm a little curious too. Maybe we'll find that there's a uh, an altar this way. Although it wouldn't do anything. Yep. That's cool. I haven't seen that one. Come on. Just pray, man. Y'all the false gods. Well, Jorgrim's just, like, better than everybody. He won't even pray. I do think that's kind of cool, and I hope they do more of that, where it's, like, 
there's race specific things because otherwise they all kind of look the same so it would be cool if um, they do more with that there's another altar seriously I could like double up on buffs before going into the catacombs oh man I have especially because it's close to the border we could have fun with this why are y'all just gonna chill right here of all places? Okay, let's go max range. Am I loaded? Yeah, I'm loaded. Okay, we'll go one more. Okay. Booyah! 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 So then what you do is run up a few. As long as he's in range. They're not in range. Booyah! Booyah! We should have loaded. Booyah! Booyah! Let's see. Are you getting some good? Oh, they are a little bit terrifying though. Don't judge me on uh, this tactic. I just don't want to die to the bison. They are quite scary. So yeah, just go up like four blocks at a time. They really shouldn't be regening that much to mess with you. So let's see where he's at. Yeah, he's almost dead. We could probably take on one. Ooh, hopefully he's not gonna follow me. Oh, jeez. <sighs> That's what I get, right? All right, slice him up. That's what I get, though. I mean, if we're being real, it's probably not fair that I could just mercilessly slaughter his buds. I thought he was the one almost dead. He hasn't gotten any hits. Oh no, they're both are. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Sweet. Oh, accidentally. Double slice you, bro. Are you not dead? Oh, he was full health. Okay, well, this is a little bit scary. Come on. Come on. Woo! Alright, we're gonna have to make trips because that's a lot of food and stuff. We need those tusks. It should be... Town should be right here. Okay. I'll keep the leather piece. We'll go back to... I gotta go back to Manch, uh, Osbrook anyways, because that's the... This is the Burt quest, which is probably the last one I haven't done. Not that it matters a whole lot. But yeah, let's try to make a bunch of space. I like all the sounds though. It's kind of funny. Alright, let's go back. Gotta collect all them fools. Yeah, I mean, unless you're like heavy prot or something like that, it's kind of foolish to just go full on against the bison. It is kind of their fault for, you know, sitting in the middle of the road like that. Like, come on, man. Seriously? All right, let's go take that back, and we'll go get their uh, their brother. Go knock him out. We got to carry all this back to Osbrook anyways, because we got the best prices for the hides from the tailor compared to Gerlo over here. He's not really going to give a rip. He'll just give us whatever. All right. Yeah, I mean, when you think of a nightstand, you think of... Having a giant uh, bison pelt in there. That's what I think of. You guys are foolish if you're thinking of anything else. See, nightstand, you should think, eh, you could put a couple books. Maybe put your glasses in there. Maybe even, hey, maybe you just have a little doodads in there, some pens for writing. Nope, huge belt pi uh belt belt bison bison pelt, man. 
having trouble today. I don't know how to say words no good. All right, we got tons of food, so uh, once we get done with the crypt, we'll be able to slide right back into these two. Probably get level 10 just to be safe before we uh, go hit up the Bastion. All right, we don't need the meat. We want everything else. Yeah, we don't have room for that. We want the... Yeah, I want those. I don't want the meat. I don't think I could fit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm only gonna be able to fit the the one pelt or the two pelts. I'm gonna have to come back again. You can't fit that in there. Do we have any other tusks or antlers or whatever? Okay. Yeah, two. Shouldn't we have gotten three? The other one didn't have any. All right, we're pretty flush for food, like over prepared. I also have like a ham shank that I bought a while back that I haven't used yet. Yeah, let's go. Get no neck his uh, bison stuff. Now I could just buy an onion, but I feel like that's gonna be cheating. Oh wait, no. Before we just sell stuff. Yeah, give me give me less than what this is worth, basically. Here you can take the other. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna give me 93. And that pelt's definitely worth more. Let's go get the Let's go get the the other one and then we'll come back. And they'll probably all be asleep or getting drunk, so whatever no I don't want to stay take me to Manshire the place of man this has to be like the most manly place you can live Manshire I know they add the extra M the extra N but maybe that's just to emphasize how manly it is to live here unless I'm alone on that Where's the... Oh, I put it in the night... That's right, bison in the nightstand. That's where I keep all my bison pelts. I'm surprised nobody really complains about that. Like a lot of the storage containers should be differently sized and not all the same. Doesn't make as much sense. Oh, we ditched all our food. Let me go get my that food we got. The fatty. Give me that fatty. Oh, we did have one more. Okay. Uh, we could probably sell that to Bert for more than here in Osbrook. Oh, and we were going to sell that. Let's ditch all of our stuff and go on a selling spree over there. I'll see if I can get a couple of, um, a couple of ID scrolls too. Could sell the ring. Do we have that one? No. That one is pretty good. Control and pain resistance. But the other ones have fortitude on it too. Uh, this is probably better than the... It's worth less. 3515. 5155. So the same healing efficiency. But the fire resistance is pretty much useless. The 8... Well, the five pain resistant, yeah. We'll we'll flip it. Although the silver ruby rings with way more. But I mean, if we really wanted to, we could get a fortitude enchant on there. I'm not. I don't really. I don't really give too much of a rip. I I'm really interested to see when they add more jewelry to the game. We probably should rock the hand amulet until I do get an enchant scroll. Swap everybody. I'm going to swap myself through you. And you're going to like it. Alright, sorry guys. This is like a side tangent. I really didn't think we were going to find bison. I thought we were going to get ambushed of all things. We'll, uh, we'll jump cut to the uh, crypts after I sell this sell this stuff oh I think we already have oh I'm dying 
Oh, and I didn't get any water. <laughs> Give me some water, man. I'm thirsty. I guess we could. I don't know if I would make it, though. That's the main thing I'm worried about now. Oh, we ditched our... Oh, man, this is bad. Can we make it to the... Well? Wow, huge oversight. I think we'll make it to the well. Jeez. Talk about accidental, almost accidentally dying on permadeath. That would have been pretty embarrassing. It's like, yeah, I don't need all that stuff. Drinking. Being thirsty. That's for land. That, they're not taking. Turgum's not taking this serious if he's getting thirsty. Oh my gosh. Plus, now all that money's just gonna freaking float into the. Ugh. I'm not gonna sell that ruby here. That's gonna be bad news. We'll just get rid of the hides and then we'll run back. Gurlo can get it. It's fine. Let's trade, bro. You can take that. You can take that. And you don't have enough for that. Really? Really? That's what we're gonna do? Could I buy just buy something from him? Does he have a better? No, I still have the best quiver. He doesn't have anything. Man. That's lame. Alright, we'll just keep the bison pelt over here. We'll just throw it in a chest and next time we're back we'll just try to remember that it exists. And then maybe next time I don't just d ditch everything. Here, I'll put it with... Oh, I didn't realize I put all my potions over here. I need to take those. Did I leave anything else important? No, we completely emptied the chest. Alright, back to uh, Manshire. And then I'll see you guys at the crypt. I'll make sure I get all my stuff, too. So, we'll see you there. Wow, Varen dropped us off right at the crypt. I can't believe it. No, I'm just kidding. I got super lost walking over here. And probably spent about 20 minutes just trying to figure out where I was. And here we go. Facing off with the extremely strong skeleton bro. They, for whatever reason, don't have dash moves. I don't know if that makes sense or if that's lame. It's about halfway. Messed up some of his limbs. Come on, man. There you go. Alright. He didn't mess this up too bad. We'll close the door, though. Let's see if we get anything good. We do have. Oh, of course. Our favorite. Mr. Wraith. Mrs. Wraith. Can you kick a wraith? I guess that's a good question. Let's check it out. Nope, I guess not. He dodged it. Alright, handful of amber. My favorite drop from the ne from the necromancer from the rays. We have an overabundance of penny buns. Like near ridiculous levels, so. I do have some backup cheese. I'll put those in the corner there. Move our henbane over here. Grab the henbane, you never know. Ooh, nice ring. I always do like that one. I might still keep the the new one we got. I don't know. This one is it's worth the oh, I was gonna say it's worth the same, but it is about worth it is worth about the same amount as the ring that we currently have. I'm gonna go review the rings again later, because I I think they're still pretty limited. Really need more jewelry and accessories. Yeah, really have like a uh, 
some jewelry for Jorgrim's beard. There should be a slot just for his beard. And you could put like an enchanted ring or dwarven something. Ooh, enchantment scroll. Take it. Always happy to find those. Just gets sad when we fight a wraith and it drops a handful of amber. It's like, for what, man? What was the point of that fight? Maybe it's just supposed to run. Oh, we got free. Seriously? Did get a crit of two. Okay, no, testing again. Cannot kick a wraith. Dodged again. Oh, we got him on the knockback. You can kick a wraith. All right, did he? Oh, he dropped two things. He dropped a weak copper ring. That's like marginally better from the amber. How many freaking wraiths are we gonna get? We already got two and we're barely halfway through the first floor. I need to drop some rubies or diamonds. Where's like the rich rays at? Still looking for a hero sarcophagus too. Maybe we should just, you guys let me know in the comments, should we really just try to focus on only doing crypts? It'll take a little bit better on this, a uh, little bit longer on the setup for me for the episodes, but it might be worth it. Otherwise, we'll just keep doing Catacomb Crypt, Catacomb Crypt, and then we'll go eventually fight the uh, humans. Keep forgetting about the R heart hot key. All right, who we got? Creepy statue. You got a tiny head, man. I want to get that checked out. head does not proportional with the rest of his body unless there's like nothing oh hi oh hi mark uh, that's not a very good tommy why so sorry guys i tried wraith no just bones we got bones over here guys lots of bones Ooh. okay i got something at least where are we at food? Probably eat a couple more of these buns. They get four, right? Oh no, they get three. We'll eat them till they uh, slide out of our uh, inventory. Okay. We got two rays. Things always happen in threes, so. Bad or good, from what I understand. Really? Oh, that's gonna be a huge pain. I'm pissed. Something needs to drop drop a lock pick. If I had known, I would have brought. I have like five of them. Uh, I don't even want to break that. And uh, pro tip: if you break a chest, then all the contents are gone, unless. It's the quest that's gonna have, like, in our our case, it's gonna have the grimoire in it. Then it won't. It'll br it'll destroy everything except for uh, the quest item. Oh, I'm pissed. I better not find any more chests. Bust it open, Jorgrim, you're mad. Ugh. Oh, he's so far away. Oh, he's an idiot. Yeah, it cursed me, because I'm about to slice you open, bruh. Oh, what is that, two? No, just one chest so far. I'm not even gonna touch it unless we find a crowbar. You'd think that'd be a common find in a crypt. But I don't know, actually, when I think about it. Just a bunch of pots and 
bones. Need more guys. They still need like 600 XP. Oh, what's up, bruh? We'll, uh, defense up here. Ooh, nice crit. Make his skeleton head fly. Give me something good. I was, at least let me, because I don't have the lockpick, at least let me find our favorite uh, hero sarcophagus. Please. We've got one more floor. Who knows? Maybe, maybe the skeleton, one of his arm bones is like made out of the crowbar. Be cool if you could jimmy open the uh, chest with the bone. I don't know if that's realistic, probably not, but it was my idea, so. Man, this sucks. Oof. Oof. They already got me anyways. Alright. Let's try to get a free kick in. Ooh, nice. He can dodge if he's stunned. It's just a, a beast like that, I guess. I'm not even gonna use any skills on you because I'm so pissed. Come on, crowbar in the sarcophagus. Lame. Let's rest a little bit here. Uh, where are we at? Hunger. Can pop off a few more penny buns. What's up, bruh? There's a lot of you in this one. I don't know if you noticed. Kind of like locked in this room by yourself. Jeez. Yeah, he's got the Beardo Axe. I would rep only Beardo Axes if... There wasn't so many great alternatives. I feel like it speaks to me being a beardo. Just bones. Give me a brooch or something. Something good. We do need to rest here. Oh, nasty guys. All right. At least get up. Oh. We at least got him down. Oof. It's not good. It's the closest we've been in a while. Where we at? Food and stuff. Alright. Sadly, another chest we will not be able to open. All right, looks like we've got three, three ways to play. Is that the, he looks different. Or am I tripping? He's got some nasty moves. All right, let's, we need a defense up. Ah, oh, come on. Don't do this. Okay. No. Oh. Bugged out. We get a good starting hit on him at least. Let's see if we can kick him back. Oh, and we got a kick. Did that do anything? Oh, it did a decent amount. He's just a fleshy, fleshy ball of flesh. Really? Nothing? Ugh. Oh. Me out. Come on, give me a crowbar. Anything? Geomantic 2, we already had it. Lame. That was a little bit, uh, it did get a little bit close there. Oh, I'm pissed. We gotta break. I don't even want to break the other chest. I just feel like it's bad news. Okay, we're gonna. Let's. We'll venture into perception. We'll continue with strength. 
Perception does give crit chance, which is good. Dodge chance is still pretty high on the wants, but I don't know. Accuracy is good too for being uh, two-handed. Vitality, there's some desire to put it, but not really. I've never put perception on a character, so since we're gonna kinda go high level anyways, we're going at least to level 15. Because I want, want to fill out axes. Dual wielding, to be honest, take it or leave it at this point with what we have. I think we're pretty set. Berserk Tradition, Dying Fervor, more blood. Those are all pretty complimentary. Deflect seems like such a waste of a turn and there's no good passive bonuses. But enough for everybody. Enough for everyone. Unstoppable. Well, enough for everyone and whirlwind seem fun for crowd control. Concentration's not bad. Dual wheel training would probably be pretty good. But really the only skill that we're using for dual wielding at the moment is flurry of blows. So I'm in a take it or leave it kind of mindset with it right now. Um, do kind of want to get to war cry just for funsies and we might want to get elusiveness I'm really leaning towards we'll get frosty because it'll help with cooldowns somebody might be mad that I did that but you know what it's whatever do you need to get health back I didn't realize our health is so high anyways I'm guessing, do we get something that's giving us plus to health we got plus four there Plus four. Okay, so we have plus eight. That's where it's all coming from. Do we have a ring? Oh, okay. Oh, hi guys. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. That guy might be too dumb to move though. Yeah, he's an idiot. Alright. Hey, maybe we'll find Hero Sarcophagus. Maybe we'll be lucky. Definitely want to clear it out before we call it a day. Alright. Ugh. I hate these bow guys. Bows are so overrated. Oh, I hate that they can do that. You're not supposed to be able to shoot through the freaking wall, bro. Alright, we did have that mead. Get a little bit of a buzz going. Definitely not strong enough for Jorgrim. I really wish that they, he would have more of a tolerance to being intoxicated. You know, going off what I was saying earlier about uh, since he, he can't pray to the gods. Maybe that's a trade-off. Like if you're a dwarf, you can take on more intoxication. There's probably gonna be a guy in here. Yeah, he didn't even really blink that much. All right. Oh, at least it's a shield that's unidentified. So often it's a spear. If we were running shields, maybe that would be good, but we're not. Man, there are a lot of guys in this dungeon. It's not fair. You can't do that in the last hit, man. This is his hand. Oh, it's his foot. Alright, we got one more room. Fingers crossed. Oh, not in this one. Oh, Wraith number three. All right, let's try to get some. Jeez. Come on. There we go. Okay, sea pearls at least. Give me a break. You got three rays in one. 
I mean, RNG is in our favor, but maybe just not for the hero sarcophagus. We obviously didn't get the occult cloak, so big sad on that. Oh yeah, we gotta break everything. And yeah, big sad. I didn't want that. I was trying to like caught it midair. That's kind of cool. All right, nothing too spectacular. I don't even want to touch those chests. They make me sad. We could get lockpicks and come back, but you know what? We'll just leave it. There's not going to be thing any crazy. I mean, there might be an enchant scroll or something, but screw it. We'll turn in the quest. We'll uh, advance time a little more, and then we'll uh, come back for another episode on a crypt versus although we are level 10 I am sort of wanting to get those broad axes though before mm -hmm. I take on the humans maybe we'll just go go we'll just put our toes in it and just see how difficult it's gonna be to fight them uh, but otherwise I'll see you guys back into oh look we got ghouls we got ghouls up in here come on man I'm down are you down uh, I guess not. Come on. Let's fight. Why are you running? Yeah, I'm over here. Slice. See ya. Alright. That was exciting. Not really, but... I don't even think... Do we even... Oh, we did cut through all of the penny buns. Ooh, we'll get one for the road. All right, I'll see you guys uh, back in town. So that went pretty well. Uh, both dungeons didn't really have too much trouble. Uh, the RNG gods were not favorable. We didn't really get any crazy drops or anything. But after the last run, getting the Necromancer stand staff, I guess that makes sense. Uh, and the bison the bison went pretty well that's usually the tactic that I use because trying to take them head on is pretty much gonna you're gonna die if you do that so you guys haven't heard from my kids in a while so they want to say hi hi everybody hi everybody I'm Nicholas and my name is Sissy You don't want to say anything else? I just wanted to say hi. Okay. So I hope you guys like that. They haven't been in the videos in a while. They've been really good at being quiet and staying out of the way. So, so you haven't seen any cameos lately. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that bell notification and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.